Welcome to Our Own Voice, a partnership in mental health awareness in cooperation with NAMI Wichita and KSUN Community Radio. NAMI is the National Alliance on Mental Illness. We are the largest grassroots advocacy network for people with mental illness and their family members with over 800 national affiliates and 15 Kansas affiliates with NAMI Wichita being one of those 15. We provide awareness, support, education, and advocacy for people affected by mental illness. Our purpose here is to provide a community conversation on KSUN Community Radio that provides insight into what it's like to live with mental illness. Our intention and hope is that our program will change attitudes, assumptions, and stereotypes about people with mental health conditions. My name is David Larson. I am pleased and proud to be your host today, and I am a person with mental illness. I am in recovery from major depressive disorder. Like everyone, I struggle with the ups and downs of emotions and the challenges of being fully human, but I am doing great, and I know I have many gifts to offer my family and friends and my community, and it is my pleasure to introduce our guest for today, Heather. Hello, Heather. Hi. Good good afternoon. I almost said good morning. It is now afternoon. That's right. You can say afternoon. (laughs) It's morning somewhere. Yeah, that's right, and it's afternoon somewhere, too. So, um, well... So let me start out by asking you, where did you grow up? Um, Southeast Kansas. Southeast Kansas. Okay. We had a number of people from that area. Yeah. Yeah. It's bizarre. This this part of the country must be like a magnet for Mm -hmm. people from that area. I can see that. So, so <laughs> you, you graduated from high school in Chanute? I did. What yeah. What is the mascot? mascot? The Chanute Comets. The Chanute Com- Comets. Yeah. Wow. Comets. All right. Yeah. So, anyone from Chanute, say woo. Well, Come on. Yeah. yeah. All right. A fist bump. Yeah, a big that's, flaming ball comet. Yes, that's All right. Yeah, a big flaming awesome. ball. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, where that's, did you where did you go to college? Get. Your yeah. college education? Um, so I went to Neosho County Community College right out of high school and then um, took a little time off and then went to Wichita State um, for my bachelor's degree in social work. Okay. And um, and then took another year off and worked um, with young kids and then decided to go back and get my master's degree in social okay. work. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. And so now um, – what is your connection with mental illness? Um, let's see. I feel like I have a lot of people in my life that um, have some sort of aspects with men, um, that experience mental health conditions. Okay. Um, after um, after my daughter was born, I was diagnosed, or I had um, postpartum depression. Okay. Yeah. 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 So Very I experienced. Valid. Very common. Yeah. Yes. And a lot of people don't know it's that common, honestly. Right. Yeah. I think it happens to all mothers yeah. to a certain degree. Yeah, to a greater or lesser degree. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, very true. Mm-hmm. So, um, and now you work for Breakthrough. Yes. With, yes. Yep. I'm the assistant director of the Breakthrough Club, actually. Assistant director yeah. of Breakthrough Club. Okay. So you're right under David. Then. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, and we had David on here earlier. Um, so uh, everyone... Hopefully you remember the program with David Captain, and uh, so now we get to have you. Hopefully we'll get to have more people yeah, from Breakthrough. I hope so too. Um, and you, um, you are specialized with, or maybe not specialized, what, what the term is, but but you are working with the youth group, the the young adult group. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been actually I've been working on and off. With um, young people for, oh, I'd say about twelve years now, and then um, I, I previous w- worked, previously worked with um, young kids that uh, that had antisocial behaviors and was getting in trouble with the law, and then I moved over to the Breakthrough Club and um, started working with young adults experiencing mental health conditions. So okay. now, yeah, 18 to 30 and... Um, All right, so um, what what are some of the experiences that you have with, <laughs> with uh, some of the youth? Experiences as in... Uh, as in um, dealing with their various mental health conditions. Um, what, what I guess, I guess what I'm asking is what, what are the most common mental health conditions that you have to face? Um... You know, honestly, mental health looks different in every single 
young person that I work with. No, per, no two are alike. Yeah. When somebody, when you see, when you think that it's going to be this way <laughs> and you start working with somebody and getting to know them, I mean, it's, it, it can go anywhere, that's honestly. The, that's I mean, the difficulty in your job, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. 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 Um, a lot of times I think that, um, I mean, the, I feel like the majority of the young people, I, I mean, they experience depression and anxiety. Um, and then, I mean, I have a couple of them that um, are experiencing hallucination and um, audio and visual hallucination. Okay. So, so, I mean, it's all it, across it's, the board. It's, yeah, all across the board. Mm-hmm. And it's all varied because each person is individual mm-hmm. and unique. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, I, I meet most of the um, young people at the beginning stage of, of their mental health. I mean, they're just um, – I, I, the reason why I like doing it Working with young people is helping them help helping educate them and um, letting them know that they're not alone and that what their experience is is okay. I mean, everybody everybody is going. I mean, you can. It's normal, right? I mean, it's it, okay. It, 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 it's okay to be who you are mm-hmm. and what you experience. You just have to use different avenues or, or different abilities and coping skills, which we will probably come to mm-hmm. and talk about later on. So yeah. um, I do want to take a, a quick note here. I want to take a moment to offer a thank you to our production team, David Peterson. Hello, David. Hello. And to our, um, uh, by the way, David is our executive producer. And to Mike Padilla, Rhymes with Tortilla, our mm-hmm. technical producer. Yes. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. Okay. I'm so happy to be anywhere. <laughs> well, this so is... So with that, we need to take a break. That's right. This that's is our job, own voice, I'm our KSN Community Radio. We're going to take a quick break and be right back. Welcome back to Our Own Voice, a partnership in mental health awareness in cooperation with NAMI Wichita and Quezon Community Radio. NAMI is the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Our Own Voice is intended to humanize a misunderstood, highly stigmatized topic of mental illness by showing that it's possible and common to live well with a mental health condition. So, uh, Heather, uh, during the break we were talking about... Um, about uh, Fun activities. Um, what what is it that you do with the with the young adults? Um, well, we ha- every um, what is it the last Friday of each month? Um, we have a social activity that we go out into the community and um, just be ourselves and get to hang out and. Enjoy life. Yeah. And you just go, what, to the mall or something like that? Um, or we to have, the zoo? We have or... not gone to the mall yet. Yeah. But um, one weekend, we actually got to take a trip to Kansas City. And wow. Yeah. Yeah. We had extra funding um, that we were able to take a trip. And where did you go when you were in Kansas City? We went to the Cheesecake Factory. Oh, oh, yes. yes. And, We've talked and, about that, haven't <laughs> we? Yes, we have. Yeah. And um, yes. there were, I think, 10 of us that went and... Um, we all ordered cheesecake. And yes. <laughs> and so, then... No, no, no. You got extra funding to drive to Kansas City just to get cheesecake? <laughs> we, we also did other things. Oh, yes, okay. yes, Like yes. what? We um, we went to the aquarium. Oh, yes. that was wonderful. That was nice. great. Yeah. yeah. And we got to walk around downtown and mm-hmm. just enjoy. It was beautiful yeah, weather. Yeah. It was a couple months ago. We Excellent. Went to that. Yeah. Yeah. That is wonderful. What what other yeah. activities do you do? Um, so we've gone to the movies. Uh-huh. Um, we've gone to the zoo. Have have you had a dance in the past? I think someone might have mentioned something yeah. about a dance. So as um, the clubhouse in a whole, we had um, we have um, dances every. I think it's every six months. Okay. We have a Valentine's dance, and but um, with the young adults, I do um, just special activities just for oh, the young adults. Yeah. Okay. So we have our own little program that um, we do more intentional activities with each other. Does it okay. involve like art or music or stuff like that? Um, well, I mean, with the socials, we, um, 
I usually let the young adults um, decide where we go and what we're going to do. But throughout the week, um, we have um, on Friday afternoons, every Friday afternoon, we go out into the community and have coffee and talk about our goals and what we want the next week to look like and kind of revisit what we talked about last week. And if anybody needs to share anything or talk about anything, we, we always go to a fun coffee shop. But lately, we've been going to the public library. We love it there. Ooh, it's the so great. The public library is yes. so cool. Yeah, yeah I've, I've heard Ooh, about that. Is, yeah. is it really been? neat? Oh, no, I have not. It's like you're on another planet. It's oh, not, really? Like yes. You walk around there going like, this is Wichita? This yeah, is it's not, pretty oh, great. Like Can you have else. coffee there? Yeah. Yes, they, yeah. Have, yes. they have Reverie coffee in there. Wow. Yeah, shout out to Reverie. So good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> Very good, good coffee. Good people. Yeah, great they're place. All so great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. and and part of the reason for you doing this is because of coping skills. Yeah, and um, just and also um, helping with stigma. Or not, I'm sorry. Well, I said we'll stigma. talk about that yeah. earlier and um, or later. I mean, isolating. Yeah, isolating, getting, because yeah. that is a major problem that everyone with mental illness and mm-hmm. mental health conditions faces. Mm-hmm. Is the the drive to isolate when we shouldn't be isolating. Mm. In fact, being around other people, being being in community, being in relationship mm-hmm. helps uh, helps with the mental health issues, doesn't it? Yeah. That's the thing that I like about the young adults. If a new young adult comes in, um, I've heard one young, young adult say, I felt like I've just found my new best friends because our group that we have right now is it's just a really close-knit group of young people that nobody judges you or I mean they just accept you for who you are and you're able just to interact and have conversations without feeling awkward or I mean having it's just a judgment-free group of Young That's people. Excellent. That's what I love about breakthroughs. Yeah. The whole it's... breakthrough club is very stigma free. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is exactly what we need to talk about now is stigma. Yeah. Um, it's so easy to get caught up in stigma, isn't it? Yeah. Whether it's um, it's the stigma of someone else or your own personal stigma that you have against yourself, it's it's something that we all fight against. Mm-hmm. And so um the the activities that you have, the groups that you have, help break that stigma. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually, you know, with that, the cool thing about Breakthrough Club is, you know, the the only time you ever really talk about um, their diagnosis is the when you get accepted in the Breakthrough Club. And other than that, we never talk about what they're diagnosed with. Okay, yeah. that's so wonderful. That's the, that's the cool yeah. thing about it. Um, how? How strong do you think stigma is? Um, it, it, do, do you think that we're conquering over it, that we're able to, to rise above it? Um, I think it's still there. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. It, it's still a battlefield? Absolutely. When I tell people where I work or what I do, they're like, what? What do you do? Are you hmm. scared? I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, and yeah, I mean, I, I feel like. It, there's still a problem. Yeah. And but it is, it, it's fear of the unknown. It's fear of the unknown. And, 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 and then so, I get to educate them. And that's that's the best part about part it. And that's part of yeah. what this program yeah. is trying to do. Well, uh, we need to take another break. This is Our Own Voice on Kaysen Community Radio. We are talking with Heather. And we will be right back. If you would like to learn more about the National Alliance on Mental Illness and how you can get involved in mental health advocacy, please visit our website at nami.org. Welcome back to Our Own Voice, a partnership in mental health awareness in cooperation with NAMI Wichita and Kaysen Community Radio. NAMI is the National Alliance on Mental Illness. So, uh, Heather, we were talking at break about um, about the uh, young, young adult program at Breakthrough, and the question was asked, how do you get new people into your program? So we pose that to you again. How do you get new people into your program? Um, well, right now we have um, we have a lot of outreach um, opportunities for our current members to 
um, go out into the community. I've a couple of my young adults and I have gone to different um, schools here in Wichita um, and educated the young people. That's something um, 2019 we're really going to hit full force going back into the school year. But um, we also um, every Thursday we go out to. Um, be behavioral health, Good Shepherd Behavioral mm -hmm. Health, and um, we're able to talk to people that are inpatient, and I've got a lot of my new referrals um, from young people that have been hospitalized, and then I mean, while they're in um, treatment, we're able to go and um, give them the information and the application about becoming members to okay. here, um, to be become a member of the Breakthrough Club. Okay, so how many members or how how many young adults do you have currently in your in your group that you're dealing mm -hmm. with? So um, this last quarter, so that was the last three months, um, we um, were able to um, connect with twenty eight young adults. Twenty eight, yeah, okay. and so thirteen of those twenty eight um, are considered regular. Um, active members. So that means they've um, participated in activities and um, are more more involved in house stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right. And um, uh, where where is Breakthrough Club located? We've mentioned this before, but we're going to mention it again. Yeah. It's, uh, 1010 West Main, you said? North Main. Yep. North Main. Yep. Tintin <laughs> West Main. Boy, that there, would be there confusing. There is no West Main. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try that again. 1010 North Main. Yeah, we're on the corner of 9th and Main. Yeah. On the corner of 9th and Main, which is like the northeast corner, right? I think I'm right. <laughs> you are. Yes. Yeah, okay. Let's it is look at a map. Real quick. Corner. But yes. A northeast yes. corner. And uh, <laughs> the phone number is. I had to check my compass. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the phone number is, which I'm going to give you a phone number that's not Nami's phone number. This is the number for Breakthrough Club. It's 316 269 2534. Mm -hmm. Or based on what Mike likes to hear, 316 269 2534. 2534, exactly. That's right. <laughs> 2534, okay. because it's easy to remember 2534. I think now, two, what was five, the prefix? Three, four was what really was nice. the prefix? Uh, 269. 269, 25, what was it? 25, what? <laughs> 34. <laughs> the okay, the number See, that it was remembered. easy for you to remember. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, uh, Heather, <laughs> get, us, get us totally off track. I understand you have a family. Oh, yeah, I do. Yep. Okay, give yep. a shout out to your husband and to your daughter. Yeah, is it? my daughter is Olive. She's six. And then my husband, Chris. What's Wonderful! And Bravo! So if, you, if you if you had another child, would you name it Pimento? Um, it would kind of go yeah. with all of it. I mean, yeah. it, it's is crossed that, my mind. Has it? But Excellent. probably not. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've thought about it once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you know Olive is one of the reindeers. Yeah. yeah. Olive yeah. the reindeer. Olive the other reindeer. The what? movie. The movie is really <laughs> strange. But the are book's you, cute. I've, I've heard that it's, it's, it's good. Yeah. The, There's the some other reindeer strange. I don't the movie know strange. about. Yeah. It's, it's all of the other reindeer. Mm. Used to laugh all and call him the, the other reindeer. All of the other reindeer. Oh, wow. <laughs> Olive. Olive the other reindeer. <laughs> Well, we it took me a while, too. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, we talked about idiot <laughs> stuff earlier, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, who's yeah. the idiot now? <laughs> I'm going to say uh, Heather just accepted an award from NAMI. Yes. And, uh, and that award was? It was for It was for the Breakthrough Young Adults, but it was for NAMI Community Service. Mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. So now she's the queen of breakthrough? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that that's, that's true. Well, but. See, I was give, willing to give you this high, you know, position. High, high muckety-muck uh, uh, position. Yeah. Exactly. Field, field promotion. You are now queen of breakthrough. <laughs> the queen, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. But Nami <laughs> really appreciates the service that Breakthrough Club does and Breakthrough Young Adults was exemplified this year. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you. David, um, really fast, I'm going to ask you to give us a number. A number, not the number that you gave for Breakthrough. Not no. the number that I gave for this Breakthrough. This would be the number for NAMI, yes. which is an answering service, but we'd be happy to get back with you as soon as possible. It's 316-686-1373 or 
316-686-1373. Exactly. And so please call that. We have. I'll talk a little bit more about it in the next segment about what we can offer you. Thank you. But there's That's help right. out there. All you got to do is call, right? That's right. Yeah. There's help. You just need to call. Just call. And with that, we will say this is our own voice on Quezon Community Radio, and we are going to take a quick break, and we will be right back. Welcome back to Our Own Voice, a partnership in mental health awareness in cooperation with NAMI Wichita and KSEN Community Radio. NAMI is a national alliance on mental illness. Information on how to learn more about mental health and get involved with the mental health community of NAMI, NAMI Wichita, uh, starts by contacting a certain number, David. What is that number again? That was 316-686-1373. And when you call that number, uh, don't expect an immediate response. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. But uh, we'd like to visit with you on how we can either help you, a uh, person with a mental illness, or uh, a family member that has someone in their family that has a mental illness. We try to be something, su- we, we try very hard to be supportive to both areas. Family members often are, have their loved one goes through a crisis and uh, those crises those episodes can really be scary and we try to offer support and for those with a mental illness uh, we offer support classes also so we have many support classes going both for family and those with mental illness and plus we have educational programs so it's please give us a call at 316-686-1373 and we'll be happy to see if we can give support. We don't have all the answers, but we try to advocate, we try to educate, we try to support. And most of all, we want to end the stigma. That's right. And speaking about advocacy, I know Breakthrough went up on Advocacy Day mm-hmm. up to Topeka, to the Capitol. Yeah, and we, we go every brought, year. Yeah, you go every year. Mm-hmm. You brought a bunch of um, a bunch of people up there to talk to the senators and congressmen and women, and just it was a wonderful time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, last year was my first experience going was it? yeah yeah it was it was amazing well last year was my first experience too so um i plan on seeing you again next year mm-hmm. so all right well um now you mentioned that um that people can come down for a tour mm-hmm. anytime anytime and yep. also um also if they can't come down to for a tour they can call you contact you through that number yeah um the young adults can if they're a little nervous about coming in or if they just would like a little bit more information i'm willing to meet them out in the community or if they want to just talk to me or um any way i could help i'm more than happy to do whatever i can to um help them feel welcome and um but, yeah, basically, use our but basically, if you're a, if you're a parent and you're having some difficulty with your child, <laughs> mm-hmm. more than likely the Breakthrough Club could help you, right? I Very, hope so. Yeah, yes. let's hope so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. Like yeah. David said, we don't have all the answers, but we can. We're we love to support and educate and advocate. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Now, do you? Um, uh, is there a fee to be a member of Breakthrough? Nope. Everything's free. Everything is free. Mm-hmm. All right. So all of your services are free. Correct. Um, in fact, I something I learned today was that you guys have a breakfast in the morning for the yes. public. Yes. Every morning um, at 8.15, we start serving breakfast and... I make the breakfast, actually. Yes. <laughs> um, right. Yeah, it's so fun. Um, but And that goes yeah. from 8.30 or 8.15 to 9. Mm-hmm. All right. And so the public can come down. They can get tours, I assume. Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe not mean, not at that time, but they they can uh, ask about tours and yeah. and just learn about the the whole program and everything. Yeah, if that's if they're if they're interested in, in becoming a member, um, we could get them all that information and give them a tour. 
Okay. Absolutely. The thing about breakthrough and the breakfast is it's open to the public, and uh, they don't have to be a member of breakthrough. Yeah. They just can walk in and get a meal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, in closing, what are some good coping skills that you personally use that you share with um, with your young adults or with um, with other people who are needing coping skills? What coping skills do you use? Um, well, I think the most important, I mean, I always say, just take a deep breath. Let's, let's think about it first. And then, I mean, talking about, um, positive self-talk, I think is one of the most important things, like watching what we're saying to ourselves. And, Mm -hmm. um, we have, we have a couple, um, groups that we run and it's some cognitive behavioral, um, groups, uh, thinking for a change in aggression replacement training. So if you need um, extra help with those coping skills with the anger management, you can um, plug into those groups also. Yeah, I, I think there's also a class on on life life resources or something like that. Someone mentioned to me, I'm not sure, but um, I was trying to remember now. Um, I, yeah, I just threw you a curveball, didn't I? Well, they help offer a lot of different classes. Yes, yeah. they do. Yeah. And... Like life skills, is that life is that, skills? Is that that's, what you're? <laughs> that's what I was yeah. thinking. Yeah, and then we have job skills, like job, job and skills. life skills. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then, I mean, it goes all across the the board. Um, okay. For... Well, um, thank you very much. Thank you for joining uh, our own voice on Case and Community Radio. A big thank you to Heather. Um, thank you to David and to Mike, and uh, we will. Have another in our uh, another our own voice program later. Thank you.